What's up YouTube? I'm ProTech and I've got another StarCraft 2 video for you today. Hey guys, before we get into the video I just want to give a real special thanks and a big shout out to uh, Nicholas Meath for the 50 Australian dollars. Now for those of you who don't know this, this equates to a roughly 40 US dollars. Um, you know, after you do the conversion and all of that. But um, I just want to give a quick shout out to uh, to this guy for uh, supporting my content, dude. I really appreciate it, man. It helps me out a lot. It keeps me doing this content full time. So thank you very much. There's also a message here, and it says, "Thought you might enjoy this uh, old article I found. It's not politically correct, so don't read it on Twitch." I uh, probably won't read it here on YouTube either, but I will definitely check it out. And I'm assuming that that's in response to. Um, my uh, my official statement on my Twitch ban video. But uh, once again, Nicholas, thank you very much, man. I really appreciate it. And uh, without further ado, let's get into the video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another 1v1 game for the 1v1 series. Here we have a random uh, an RVZ on the Catalyst LE. So if this is the first video that you've watched in this series, we uh, I would recommend going back to the first video of this series to uh, see where we're at with this. Um, we're basically going to be playing from the bottom of the ladder to as far as we can get in 1v1. And as mentioned many times before, this is by far my worst matchup. I was really hoping I didn't get Protoss for this video. But that's okay. Life goes on. We'll manage somehow, boys. We'll manage somehow. All right, we're gonna do a little, uh, little gateway pressure here. Take advantage of the fact that he does not know what my race is. Now, when you sim city your ramp, I see a lot of people make this mistake. Um, but what you should do is, is you, sh you should always leave the gap where your workers. It takes the least amount of time to travel to your natural. So by placing the gateway in this location, when I go to transfer workers from this location to that location, they don't have to go down this way and around the gateway here, right? They can just go through that little hole right here. So it cuts the travel distance, it keeps you it keeps you a little more efficient in your mining. Which is important in this game, obviously. Every every little thing is is important. I'm actually going to go up to 4 adepts before I plant the CC, or the, uh, not the CC, but the, uh... Before I plant the Nexus. Wow, he opened with, like, an early pool here. I'm not going to actually do much here until I have um, my other adepts in this location. Because he opened with like a pool first thing. Okay. 
Try to get some workers here. Run, boys! Okay, now he has speed, so I need to get out of here. Okay. I'm gonna hit uh, some, do some adept pressure here. Kind of messed up my wall here. And uh, just make sure I build immortals behind this because I want to do a follow up push. Alright, let's do this pressure here. Okay, so he's going for Roach Warren. Alright, let's get out of there. Get out of there, boys. Alright, now I've got my two immortals, I want to make push. But I want to clean out that overlord first. And preferably not get supply capped. Oh my god, those force fields, are you kidding me? Beautiful. Alright, I'm taking good engagements here. I was going to take a third. That was a pretty powerful build, wasn't it? It's a pretty good build. I like doing that build in that matchup. It's a build that really uh, sets the pace of the game for me. So it's, you know... It really fits into my playstyle. It's like, it's like I've adapted my 2v2 playstyle into 1v1. And I've kind of created just something that, you know, I mean, I don't actually know if this is going to be a good build. I mean, it's not a bad build, and I'm sure it works at a reasonably high level. But I don't, I don't think that a build like that would actually do very well against like a, like a top, top, top rated player. But we won't know until we get there, right? So uh, that's going to be it for the video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for checking out my video today. If you like my videos, smash that like button.
comment with what you want to see next, subscribe to see more, and be sure to follow all of my social media links in the description below. You can also donate by clicking the bubble at the bottom left of the screen, and this of course allows me to continue producing this content on a full-time basis. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you with the next video.